Okay, so one of the questions as a giant pumpkin grower that we always get when we go off to the way offs is, do you milk your pumpkin? Of course, of course you do. And so this is a video of the steps that we take, how we milk our pumpkins. So the ingredients, items that you're gonna need, you're gonna need some milk, whole milk, nothing but the best milk will do. You can't be having any of that 2% jug. You gotta get the whole milk. This comes straight from the actual cow's teat. It really did. It came from that probably this morning. We get it from our neighbor's farm, just right down the street. So then you're gonna need some honey. Well, once again, only the best honey will do. This is Ash Creek honey. This comes from Northwest Kansas, straight from the honeybees. Look at that right there, Ash Creek honey. Then you're gonna need a bowl, maybe a five gallon bucket, depending on how big your pumpkins are, and a good big old syringe right like that. So those are the items that you're gonna need. So the first step, get your milk. You gotta get that all in there. Get that whole milk in there. This is so thick. Look how thick that is. This is some of the thickest milk you're ever gonna see. You can't even see through that. You wanna fill that up, because they're, they're thirsty. You gotta really milk these pumpkins. They're not gonna grow unless you milk them. So you're gonna probably do a couple of them. We'll just do one for now. You gotta have honey. Fix that up in there. Okay. Yep. Right there. Maybe a little more. It really doesn't matter. You dob that in there. Mm. And then if you have some molasses, molasses is always good too. But you just take your honey and your milk and you swish that around just like that. There you go. Get it good right there. You see that? There Perfect. you go. The milking is on. Okay. That's step one. All right, then the next thing you're gonna need is a giant pumpkin plant. You can see here, we got our giant pumpkin plant. So, the first thing that you're gonna need to do with your pumpkin is get yourself a good clean knife, right? Like that, that one there, nice and sterile. And then what you do is you make yourself a little incision. As you can see, I've already done that here. Make yourself a good little incision right there at the point of entry. You wanna make it nice and close. Then. The next step, soak up all that good milk right there. Nothing but a whole milk. I don't have much, as you can see, it's only this, right? There you go, bud. Okay, and then the final step, you take the needle and you gotta come in from right, it's gotta be a good downward motion. You see how you wanna be stabbing like this here? Don't be real sensitive with it. You gotta get that in there. And then you take this needle, jam it in there. Man. And we there we go, we got it. We melt that pumpkin. Look at that little honey. Oh, I'm sure she enjoyed that one. And, and don't forget, the most important step is to make sure you jam it in there. If you don't jam it in there, you ain't gonna be able to melt a pumpkin, all right? Well, that's how I milk a pumpkin. I don't know how you guys do it. If you know a different or better way of doing it, let me know. That's my method. What's your method?